What if your emotions no longer controlled you? What if you had a tool for releasing your emotions when they arise? All emotions, positive or negative, have a natural cycle. They increase in intensity, ultimately reaching a peak, and then begin to calm down. That is, if we allow them to be. Problems arise, especially with unwanted emotions, when we try to control our emotions or change them in some way. Just being afraid of our emotions can cause them to not complete their natural cycle. One way to allow emotions to complete their cycle and resolve is through this mindfulness exercise. There are other very effective and efficient ways as well, which I will mention at the end of this video. The background music in this recording is designed to assist you in relaxing and letting go. In order for you to get more out of this mindfulness exercise. Keep in mind that this recording is not intended to diagnose nor treat any medical or mental health condition but rather to provide support and encouragement. Being mindful is an effective tool for managing emotions. You can use it any time you need. Do not listen to this recording while operating any machinery or doing anything other than trying to relax and be mindful. Now let us get started. What if, instead of feeling overwhelmed, bored or stressed. You were able to step back and say, oh, okay, that's overwhelm. Or, oh, okay, that's worry. Okay, that's just stress. I got this. Rather than saying, I'm stressed. Rather than feeling as though you're in the middle of it all. Instead, just recognize that it's okay, that it's a thought, or that it's a feeling. For some of you, that may sound weird or crazy, woo, -woo. and you may think, well, yeah, but you don't know my crazy situation. And you're right, I don't. But remember, it's really important to see that this practice of mindfulness takes time for change to happen. But change does happen. For people who are successful at what they do, it's a habit of a lifetime, or at least a habit of a good few years. We're not just talking about doing better at work or feeling less stressed. This is about living on your own terms. This is about choosing how awake and present you want to be for the life you're living right now. This is about enhancing your presence, your wisdom, your compassion, and your effect on the world inside of you and outside of you to the absolute best of your ability. The question is how mindful and how present do you really want to be in your life? Do you want to be controlled by your emotions? Or do you want them to come and go with grace and ease? So that you can be the best person you can be. Every time you realize that you're being distracted or overwhelmed by your emotions, and then you take the time to acknowledge them, something is changing. Not only your thoughts and your consciousness, but also the brain itself. If you experience stress, overwhelm, or anxiety a lot, then it will be really uncomfortable, and you'll probably want to get as far away from it as possible. And that's understandable. But it's also really important to acknowledge that you can't stop anxiety. Everyone's tried it. It doesn't work. What you can do 
is develop a different type of relationship with it, where you can eventually feel at ease with it and potentially can even start to embrace it as a way of further understanding the mind. So as you move through your day, remember that idea of being aware, simply being aware, being present for the sensations in your body. Whenever you remember to do this, it's quite an amazing thing because all of a sudden you're actually present. Again, it's as though you cut the negative feedback loop. You step out of the loop of thinking when you step out of the loop of thinking, you're actually present with your body and what you're doing. As I said earlier, when you allow yourself and your emotions to go through their cycle, they diminish and no longer have as much control over you. So let us do a quick review. If you experience stress, overwhelm, or anxiety a lot, then it will be really uncomfortable. And you'll probably want to get away as far as you can from it as possible. And that's understandable. But it's also really important to acknowledge that you can't stop anxiety or the feeling of overwhelm. Everyone's tried it. It doesn't work. What you can do is develop a different type of relationship with it, where you eventually feel at ease with it and potentially can even start to embrace it as a way of further understanding the mind. So as you move through your day, remember that idea of being aware, simply being aware, being present for the sensations in your body can help you complete the cycle of emotions and help you find the peace and happiness you seek. Now what I'd like to talk about is the role of the subconscious mind in your ability to find peace and happiness in your life. What most people don't realize is that much of our emotional struggle is on a subconscious level. So if you want to stop the emotional roller coaster, we need to clear the unresolved emotions on a subconscious level. The good news is that there are some very effective tools for accessing and clearing our subconscious. One is Psyche. That is spelled P-S-Y-C-H-K. You may not have heard of it, but it is proving to be a cutting edge tool for helping people find the peace and happiness they seek. You can learn more about this wonderful tool for subconscious change by clicking on the information above or the link in the description below this video. Thank you for your mindfulness. To access more videos dedicated to a peaceful mind, subscribe to my channel.